All right, this is one of my absolute favorite pieces of equipment that I have in my little planty arsenal, and it is a handheld microscope. Um, this is probably the best 50 bucks I've spent, I think, maybe other than my grow lights, but I really recommend having this. It is uh, really invaluable to me. When I was a little younger, like just a couple of years ago, I could see spider mites and actually see their eggs with my naked eye. I have very good vision. Um, but I'm 43 and it's not so uh, clear anymore. So this really does help make sure that I have um, identified the correct species that we can treat correctly because you know you don't want to treat something that you don't really know for sure what it is because it can actually cause more problems. So um, in order to turn this on, you're just going to push the power button here. You're going to see this signal flashing. That's for the Wi-Fi connection. It does connect to your phone, which is awesome. Gives you basically your phone as a screen. Um, this is going to be how you're going to focus the unit can be a little tricky. I will say this is a little bit of a learning curve. Um, and then this is where you're going to also take still images and I'm going to show you how it works. I'm going to connect to the microscope. So it'll pop up on your Wi-Fi. And then there is an app that you download. It's called Wi-Fi check. And then you're basically going to get, you know, you're going to get this. I mean, it's pretty cool. So, the way I do it, and if you can do it on a stationary um, stand, that may be easier, but I don't really have that option. It's just easier for me to do it handheld. So I always start first by recording. So I'm always running a video the whole time I'm doing this. That way, in case I miss the picture or the bug's moving too fast, at least I got something on video. And then during the video, you can push the power button, which is also the camera button, to take still images, which I find really useful. So. I'll just take my plants and I'll kind of gently look and I see like a little black spot here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's very small. So I'm going to put the center. I don't know if I told you the center. The camera is obviously right in the center of the LEDs, but this is what it looks like as well. So I'm going to put the center kind of right on that black spot, get the best I can. I'm going to use my index finger to kind of adjust to get it in focus. Like I said, this is kind of that learning curve. So that's pretty much in focus. And then it's still recording video, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take a couple still images to look at later. And let me see if I can move this up while I'm still on the item, so you can kind of see it. And we can see that, that's a hair, so not a bug, um, maybe a piece of soil and hair. But yes, yeah, so it's actually cool too, you can kind of see like the plants, uh, stomatas, the cells underneath, kind of cool. Not as like super magnified, but it's pretty good. Um, so no bug, that's good. Uh, like I said, this is what I use. I love this thing. I think that it is definitely worth the 50 bucks on Amazon. So this is your classic two spot spider mite and uh, these guys can do quite a bit of damage in a short amount of time. So it's important to get on top of them as soon as possible. And you can see the little egg there in the center. And then this is a super mature adult. Uh, keep in mind that you're probably going to see some shedding. It's super gross, but spider mites do shed as they get bigger. And this is a predatory soil mite, so he's beneficial. I put him back in the pot after he fell off onto the stove when I was watering, but he was very fast. That slowed down like 50 times. And then of course, uh, the mealy bug. I'm sure we all love these. Luckily, they are fairly easy to get rid of in my experience. I'm sure I'll do another video on that. But yeah, that's what it looks like under this microscope.